Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and I have an exciting update for you. On this channel, right from here, we are starting a series on WordPress.com. Now this is not going to be a small series like with the 10 or 15 videos, this is going to be a way more comprehensive series on WordPress. In this entire comprehensive series, I'll be walking you through with what is WordPress, how you can utilize the WordPress, and even I'll be also talking about how you can utilize the WordPress skill and your web development skill in freelancing and how you can get projects with the freelancing websites. WordPress looks really simple because you are already using websites like Facebook and Twitter and you are already managing your content like your post and your images. But don't be mistaken here, WordPress is way more comprehensive than it looks like. At first, beginner thinks that WordPress is so easy and I'm going to do it just like that. But it's not that simple. But don't worry, in this entire series, I'll walk you through with each and every step necessary to start a WordPress website, not a blog, entire website. And I'll walk you through with the ins and outs of how you can deal up with a WordPress website. We'll be moving into a way more comprehensive situation of the WordPress, starting from the local host environment where we are going to install the WordPress on our local system. Further, as the course progress, we'll learn about what are the blogs, posts, how to manage your content, important plugins, what are plugins, and how you can set up an entire WordPress website. Once we are done with that, we are going to move further and we are going to learn how you can install and run a WordPress onto a domain. I'll also give you some of the suggestions uh, based on what are the good hosting platforms and how to buy domains and pretty much everything that you need for a WordPress website. I would also like to mention here that what kind of skills you should already have to get started with this course. Now I will be posting three to four videos every single week so that you can follow me along with the making of this entire course. But there are some prerequisite or essential skills that you should have while getting started with the WordPress. Now WordPress is for anyone and everyone. Now since you are already aware how to manage your data, posts and images on a websites like WordPress and Twitter, you can already get started with the WordPress. Basic knowledge is okay but it's not going to take you very far. WordPress is a content management system and end of the day, I expect that you should have some basic knowledge of web development. Now, although you will be able to do really fine and just okay with the basic level of skills without any web development skill, but you, there are some points and there will be some situations where you need to change some fonts, where you need to change some CSS, and in case you don't know how to change the background color or the text color or how to pick up even the CSS, it's going to be a tough situation for you. Now, being this is a programming channel, I don't expect you to just host a website and the default theme and that's it. No, eventually the time will come up then when we'll be learning how we can edit those templates and can modify these existing templates into the situation where it needs and it fits best for us. So I would recommend you to get started first of all with a complete front-end developer course available at Learn Code Online, but it's not compulsory. You can just follow me along here and can see where you can uh, go along with me with that number of skills. But again, I would highly recommend to directly not get started with the WordPress. First, get started with a complete front-end developer course. Now, just with the complete front-end developer course, uh, you will be able to run for almost, let's just say, 70 to 75% of the course, but eventually the time will come where we'll be learning uh, more modern and more advanced stuff, things like how we can design our own widgets. Now, just onto a sidebar, let me remind you that we are learning all these skills to make sure that we can serve somebody and we can earn some money by offering our skill as a services. Now obviously the client is not going to pay you just to install WordPress or set up a website. Even if he's paying, it's not a high pay, it's just around $100 to $200 and that's it. Eventually the client will come to you and will ask for the customization of WordPress and maybe wants to design a special plugin for you. Now in most of the cases, the plugins are already being designed, being an open source community, most of the plugins are already there. But the high payment comes up when the situation comes up and client is not able to find any such plugin and you have to design that plugin on your own. Designing for that plugin comes up with PHP. So yes, you should have a PHP knowledge as well. Now luckily, if you want to move in that advanced part of the WordPress, I would recommend you to get started with the PHP. And luckily, we have got a PHP course at LearnCodeOnline.in as well. Now just on to a side note, if you don't want to take these skills like complete front-end developer and PHP, you'll be still able to follow me along in this course. This is an exciting entire series that you are going to enjoy quite a lot. So I would say just get started with along with me in this series and later on you can decide on yourself uh, that whether you really want these skills or not. 
I would highly recommend to follow me along in this entire series. I would be uploading three to four videos every week so that you can follow me along. Now, whatever you are learning, whether that's an Android, PHP, maybe Python, maybe machine learning, whatever you are learning, just keep going on with that. You just have to follow me along in this channel and I'll be uploading those videos. And just by spending 30 minutes a week, you'll be able to learn another skills just side by side. WordPress is an amazing content management system. And from the next video, we are going to get started about what is WordPress, why you should be using it, why you should not be using it, and all the such details and technical installation and all such setups regarding the WordPress. Now the important part, if you want to get all the updates and notification whenever I am uploading the videos, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the bell icon nearby that will give you a notification as soon as I upload any videos. So with this, without any further delay, Let's get started and wait for the new video coming up on WordPress series. I'm really excited to start the series with you and let's get going. Just one more thing. Don't forget to share this video along with your friends so that I can keep doing what I'm doing and I just love doing it. I love to teach on YouTube and this is the first series that you are seeing me on the go that we are preparing together. So make sure you share it with your friends so that he can also learn some skills and I can keep doing what I like to do. That's it for this video and also one more sidebar, small one, that I will be uploading rest of the videos regularly just like we have been doing other YouTube stuff and this series will be into a separate playlist so I'll surely catch you up in the next video.